Uh, I think they're one of the first mistakes that a lot of new business people make is that they try to do some tasks which they should leave to professionals. Um, one task is obviously legal work and another task is accounting work. Because it's just very complex, it's very hard to do yourself. And where people make a giant misstep is that they go to Google, try to do their Google research, and unfortunately, three quarters of the articles on Google are either incorrect or incomplete, and consequently, you end up doing it wrong. And if we were just opening up an ice cream store, why that might not be so much of a problem, but when we are licensed professionals by the state, the consequence of doing things wrong is much more steep. The order of sequence would be figure out your correct legal name because there are specific name style rules for every profession. Two, file your articles and make sure they get filed, file stamped, meaning they actually get processed by the Secretary of State without getting rejected. And then move on to the EIN number because if you make mistakes with any of your IRS paperwork, there is no one you can call to fix it. There is no such thing as I can get this thing fixed in a matter of days or in a matter of weeks. Every time you communicate with the IRS, it's going to be at least a 90 to 120 day round trip on letters. So mistakes with the IRS are massively costly in terms of time, in terms of getting your corporation formed correctly. Licensed clinical social worker corporation and any name or names under which it may be rendered to professional services shall contain licensed clinical social workers. So that LCSW does not work. So now she's going to need to go back and deal with the County of Los Angeles. And most times when you deal with county offices, again, they're not the most efficient entities to be dealing with. And who knows whether or not she'll have to pay additional fees or whether or not she can actually get someone to correct this one or more, to, uh, one or more times as she figures out the fact that she's done other things wrong. And what she doesn't know is that within the forms, there are specific requirements which I'm just certain she's not going to figure out because no one else does as well. There is no one you can call to fix it. There is no such thing as I can get this thing fixed in a matter of days or in a matter of weeks. The thing that I always warn my clients of is that you need to understand that your board in state law deems it to be unprofessional conduct and a violation of the chapter if you violate, attempt to violate directly or indirectly, or assist or evade in violation or conspire to violate any provision 
or term of this article and the Professional Corporations Act. And so if you're not doing it correctly, they're not saying, well, you know, you should have known better or it was just a mistake. You either follow the rules or you don't. And if you don't, then you're in trouble with your board, which is not a good thing. And when you jumble things up, frequently you have to go back and redo. And if you have to redo with certain government agencies, you can't redo it in a day. It's a matter of months and months and months of redoing. And so when you wanted to get started in business within a matter of weeks, now you've managed to screw things up so you're not getting started for a matter of months. So that's just a big downside that people run into that they don't know is a problem because of lack of experience.